Hey guys, welcome back to the arena, and it is the first day of the new season, so excited here to jump on ladder and see if we can rack up some wins. Uh, first of all, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you, and if you do like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back. I really do appreciate you. You guys are the backbone of the channel, and I couldn't do this without you. Uh, just to let you know, the deck list will be in the description um, both on moxfield.com and then also on untapped.gg. And then all of my playlists will also be in the description for both standard and limited. Um, my uh, previous uh, road to rank one with mono white humans and then some of the collab drafts as well. So check those out if you're interested. Um, in addition, I do want to give a shout out here to my first uh, member, Kibo, thank you so much again for becoming my first member, and this is a great way to help support my channel. So if you do want to help support, um, this is a great way, and here is exactly how you do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the Join button right next to where it says Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the Super Thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. So <clears throat> today I wanted to look at sort of the, the newest iteration of Boros Convoke, which I think is a really powerful deck. Um, one of the new cards that it got was Nurturing Pixie. And so I knew that I wanted to try this card. I knew it was going to be powerful, and I saw it um, on the ladder. So obviously a lot of other people had the same thought. So I pulled up a list here that uh, did pretty well, and let's just pull this up. So this is by Sasa Uchiro. And I took a look at the list and pretty much just put together his list here with his land count. I pretty much agree with just about everything he's done here. Um, I think he has two Nurturing Pixie, and I wanted to take it up to three, so I just cut the Get Lost for an extra Nurturing Pixie. But we still have a lot of different um, normal pieces here. We've got two War Leaders Calls, three Case of the Gateway Express to give additional pump, four copies of Recruiter to help uh, pump the whole team, two copies of Sanguine Evangelist, and this feels about right. I, th I think I've run like somewhere between two and three in the past, and that worked pretty well. Um, four copies of Knight Errant to go find everything, four copies of Reinforcements just to make extra guys, and then you have four copies of Novice Inspector and Faldaran Epicure to help make um, artifacts, which you can then use for Gleeful Demolition to make extra tokens. And then you've got four copies of Warden of the Inner Sky to help take advantage of all the tokens, and become a huge threat. <clears throat> so what Nurturing Pixie does is this basically allows you to, um, when you when, or when it enters the battlefield, it's a 1-1 one, one flyer for one white mana. You can return up to one target non-fairy, non-land permanent that you control to your owner's hand. And so if a permanent was returned this way, put a plus one, plus one counter on Nurturing Pixie. So if you don't have anything, you can just play this as a 1-1, one, one, um, but you can also use this to return either Inspector or Epicure if you need to have another artifact for Gleeful Demolition. You can also use this to like bring back a Case of the Gateway Express if you need to kill something. <clears throat> you can use this to return reinforcements to make an extra token or give an entire new pump phase here with Imidane's Recruiter. Um, you can make more tokens with Evangelist. You can also use Knight Errant to go and search for more stuff. So it's really powerful. And I think that this might even be like a four of in this deck. I'm going to try three, see how it goes. But I'm really high on this card, and I expect it to do big things. So the land count here, uh, we've got 22 land. And I do kind of see where that's coming from, um, partially because sometimes you want Imidane's Recruiter to go big and make two Knight tokens. So I can see that. But I, I'm interested in maybe seeing if how 22 lands feels maybe shaving one. I guess we'll have a look here and see. So let's go ahead and jump into some games. Also, I want to say um, that I just really appreciate you guys for kind of following my 
attempt to road to rank one for last month in standard. Um, I was really inspired by Paul Chion, who's done that for uh, limited draft, and so I wanted to try it in standard. Ended up, I think, in about the top 500 mythic, so we didn't get there, but, you know, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, this opening looks great. <clears throat> so it's, uh, we're, we're going to need, I guess, um, maybe a little bit more to try to get these Knight Errants into play, but... So far, so good. Happy to just lead out here with Warden. But, like, all the value that you get off Pixie from, like, Knight Errant or Imidans, just, it just seems so powerful. <clears throat> and I think here we just need it for the body, so um, I guess we'll just return it. Actually, I guess we'll just play this as a 1-1, one, one, and that's fine, just to help kind of get things going. So you can also play it early, too. But the fact that it plays well both early and late just feels really good. And now reinforcements is really nice because we get to... Just go completely off here with Knight Errant. So they're going to try to set up for a big slick shot turn. <clears throat> so we've got to sort of got to get a move on here, but I think that that was good to try and search something up. Hopefully they can't like turn three kill us here. That'd be a bit awkward. Whew, this is going to be uh, pretty nasty. All right, Iganjo is great. Unfortunately, we can't use it for the um, deal four damage effect, but we can use it with Imidans here. So if we go for Imidans, how much are we pushing? They block here, we're hitting for three, five, seven, nine, 11, 14, not quite enough. <clears throat> I think we might have to hold back Pixie here just because um, we want to try to block show off if at all possible. And then maybe like a 1-1 one, one or something like that. We'll have to try to do this over two turns. <clears throat> the other option would be to make Warden fly, but because they've got Menace, that's not really a line I want to take. <clears throat> and if they have uh, Monstrous Rage, which they probably do, this might be Lights Out. Yeah, and they've got the Monstrous Rage there, so that was pretty nice. Okay, yeah, that's going to do it, unfortunately. So maybe instead of going for Knight Errants, we should have just tried to, like, push face and try to finish, like, a turn earlier. Double Slick Shot, though, is pretty nasty. <clears throat> it's been a while since I played Boros Convoke, but I think it's a really great deck. Um, the one concern that I have is if there are enough artifacts for Gleeful Demolition. We have one Mirix and just the four Investigators and four um, Epicures, so I don't know if that's enough. But I guess we'll find out.
All right, so now let's go for, let's name human here. Actually, you know, I ordered this wrong. I think I should have played the, the pixie first. Yeah, that was that was a that was a misplay. We could bring back the blood token, but I don't think I want to just in case we draw into gleeful demolition. So yeah, we should have played pixie out there first. Just because warden is the stronger card of the two. pretty nasty Kerbeck. um okay so and now we can just pixie and do that again i guess first let's go ahead and just cycle Okay, well that's pretty good. So we can try to save this for next turn and then go for Pixie to um, to get more action out of Knight Errant. We could also play it the Pixie now and then like return our Epicure. Just because we want to have like three different cards to play out for Knight Errant to have like a good chance of getting Imidanes. But I think maybe keeping it, yeah. I'm gonna try keeping it, see if it works. I think we just wanna to try to climb as much value as we can here and just recasting Night Errant seems really good. Okay, so they didn't attack here. That actually was a nice draw. Um, yeah, now we can go for Epicure and then Knight Errant for two and then get Knight Errant back. Actually, never mind. We can do get Knight Errant back next turn, but that's still fine. Yeah, and I think searching again with Knight Errant is it's worth it to go for two instead of for three. So they certainly could have removal here. Um, I guess if we go to like combat and attack, eh, I'm just gonna go for it, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, this just feels really disgusting, just getting so much value. I feel like you definitely want a full play set. <clears throat> okay, so let's go get another pixie. We could get another pixie and just do it again. God, that just seems gross. Um, so I guess we do that plus Imidanes. I mean, Evangelist is pretty good too, right? But I feel like this has to be better. Yeah, Kerbeck is definitely annoying, but I feel like we're going bigger more. <clears throat> so I feel like if he had another piece of removal, he would have used it. Um, if we push with like Inspector plus Imidane, they block two of them, they take Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. That's pretty good. It's maybe not totally lethal, but it's really close. Yeah, now they're pretty much super dead. Man, Nurturing Pixie, what a beating. Yeah, this is so good, I think I want the full play set. Um, let's jump in real quick. And what should we cut? Um, I don't really want to cut land, at least not yet. I'm not really sure what the weakest card here is. I feel like we want to have some action with Case. I actually think maybe cutting like a Warleader's Call is, is okay. It's um, a pretty strong effect, but... I'm gonna try cutting one of these. Cause like it, the pixie works even better with case cause you can then just use it to kill another creature. I guess you have to like reset the buff so it's not perfect, but. Oh, there's Sonia. Wonder what he's playing. We could definitely use some red land here for sure. Okay, well that was nice.
chess guy, interesting. Could try to set up here with Call. Um, he probably uses no more lies. Do we want Call or do we want Evangelist here? I guess let's try to push Call through, see if we can get it to land. He probably has the counter. Okay, I guess not. We just want to push face. I mean, like, we could try to scry and everything, but let's just push damage. So, I wonder if he has like depopulate here. Or probably like lockdown. Um, let's just go for Sokens in here. Like, he can trade, and that's fine. Okay, well now all of our creatures are lethal threats. Yeah, got him. Nice. Yeah, I think this is actually like a huge addition to the deck. Like almost as big a deal as the last set bringing in Novice Inspector. We'll lead out here with Inspector so that way if like Warden lands, even if they have removal, we can at least get one scry off with it. Okay, so do we want to play Pixie this turn also? I'm not sure. All right, let's lead out here with Warden. Okay, I mean, Case is pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll keep Case. I guess we could name Pixie or whatever this is. Fairy. Um, I think let's hold on to our clue just in case we drive Lethal Demolition. Although we're not drawing it soon, so maybe we can just 
make this thing a 2 2. I guess I'll hang on to it here. I think that's fine. And the reason here I'm not returning anything is because I want to be able to go for case next turn and get it to flip. So we can War Leaders call. If we call, we're pushing for, what is that, 3, 7, 10. Probably want to go for a Knight Errant here, just to be a little safe. Auto tapper there. Wasn't great. I guess let's grab reinforcements probably. Question is, can they do eight damage with that Phoenix chick? I hope not. I definitely think we'll have enough for, for lethal here with like reinforcements into recruiter. If we can just survive this turn is a real question. Whew, well our opponent's definitely going deep into the tank here. So we've got to assume they've got like a play with fire or something like that. Although actually if they had play with fire, we'd be at four. Yeah, if they, we can still assume they have play with fire because we, we would be at one if they had attacked with everything. So just got to make sure we have enough to kill them here. So if we go for Imidanes, they've got two blocks and they can use play with fire. Um, they could take this out, block here, block there. We hit them for three, six, nine, 12. Not enough for lethal. And then they've got Phoenix Chick plus whatever they've got in their hand to get it done. we push it right because if they just block one and have play with fire they can deal with these two and take three six nine twelve six, yeah they're, they're dead so we just push all out
They can maybe survive one more turn, but they've got to draw decently well. Well, they have force blocks here, so they definitely have to block. Yeah, they had to play with fire. Okay. Good start. If they draw into lightning strike, we're done. Yep. Oh well. Whew. Close one. Still, I think this list has a lot of power. And it's possible that we shave like a land instead. I mean, 22 feels pretty good. Okay, well this hand is <laughs> not amazing. Um, man, if we draw into any red land though, it's so good. I really wanna keep this hand. I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause like if we go like inspector into warden, we can still scry into a land hopefully. Okay, well that was a super nice rip. Um, we could go Warden here. Uh, reinforcements is like more mana efficient, which is kind of nice. Getting Warden going though is pretty good. Yeah, and that's perfect. Okay, that's great. Do they have the god draw? No, okay, not quite. They've got a good draw, but not not gleeful into Knight Errant into Imidane's. don't think we need another warden um i mean it's not bad we can probably do a little better though
Okay, so they've got night air, it looks like. Okay, so we drew <laughs> we drew warden anyways. That's all right. Oh, ah, that was a miss miscast there. I, I should have left the white open, so we could have played the warden. That was a misplay. Oh well. Um. Hmm. Still kind of getting used to this deck. Yeah, don't need a Ganjo. So yeah, we could have had an extra an extra counter there, done one extra damage, that would have been great. Okay, that'll work. I guess we were just enough ahead that it was good enough. But yeah, this deck seems really fun. I mean, I think the nurturing pixies are just going to take it way over the top. And I definitely think a full playset is correct. Okay, so let's lead out here with Epicure. I guess we can hope to draw like another white source. I mean, not being able to, to name human here is kind of rough. I almost wonder if like shaving a cavern of souls is, is correct for this deck. I mean, yeah, because we've got like fairies, vampires, humans, stuff that costs actual mana. Probably just name human here. I'm just going to go for the fairy play here. It's not huge, but we can get something going. Okay, well that's a nice draw. So we probably just want to go War Leader's Call here. I suppose we could also go Recruiter and then try to set up for Case. Because um, if we like trade Recruiter for two of their guys, we're kind of okay with it. But nah, I think we're going to go War Leader's Call here instead. 
Let's just block well and also push a little bit more in the air. You know what, maybe we should have pitched that with the blood token, actually, come to think of it. Although we can try to set up now for, like, the knights. Maybe that's the way. Because, yeah, now we're pushing... This would be a 3 or a 4-3. I mean, that's decent. That, that takes, like, a decent block for them. Yeah, I think maybe just Recruiter here, just keep pushing damage. It's not amazing, but it's... And now we can at least get like the double off the Epicure if they want to block it. Yeah, getting rid of their, their tokens is huge. And that should probably do it. They're gonna have to have an amazing play here to... Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's kind of rough. Um, I suppose we just case here to get rid of one of these and then push. And I think that's still pretty much game. We can gleeful to kill them after that. Yeah, that's going to do it. Let's do one more. I've definitely had like a couple, few little misplays here and there, which has definitely led to maybe not winning all of these, but um, <laughs> yeah. Overall, it's got a really, really good game plan. It feels like a very powerful deck. Just being careful like with the mana and uh, sequencing right. Okay, this hand I do have to mulligan, unfortunately. Actually, wow. It'd be so greedy to keep this, but like Epicure into Gleeful Demolition is pretty good. We need like two lands in a row <laughs> to go anywhere with that, though. Oh, they're going first, though. God, this is crazy, but I'm going to keep it. I feel like this deck doesn't doesn't really like mulligan super well. This might just be absolutely wild for me to keep this, but I mean, if we draw, if we draw a planes, like we're still in it, we can use case.
Oof, yeah. That's probably going to do it right there. That was a pretty greedy keep, I mean, in all honesty. Okay, we are somehow still in this. <laughs> Yeah, so now we case the show off. God. We drop to three. They're gonna draw a card. We're probably just dead to like any lightning strike or anything. And then they're gonna have Kumano plus Codebreaker. Good God. I feel like we gotta hold back here, unfortunately, as much as it sucks. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, that was most likely a very, very greedy keep, but. <laughs> Anyways, fun deck. Definitely want to try to get some more reps under my belt here, but let's let's take a look at the um, the stats. All right, so just started out currently four and three, so fifty-seven percent win rate, not super amazing. It's a zero and three against mono red, so definitely need some work there, but. I like at least the makings of it. I do think that Nurturing Pixie is really good. Um, yeah, so more to come. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And again, um, if you are interested in uh, subscribing or seeing more of my content, that's a great way to help support me. And we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.